Dubai is home to some of the biggest and most cutting-edge construction projects in the world. So it's no surprise that they've become a market leader in 3D printed construction. After I finish visiting all the printed construction projects in America, Dubai will be the next place that I go. Today, we're going to take a look at this 10,000 square foot 3D printed commercial building that was done by the Dubai municipality using an Apis Core printer. I'm also going to include some of the relevant clips from my podcast episode with Ali Mustafa, a civil engineer who was operating as the project manager for this build. Ali works for engineering contracting company in Dubai and only worked on this project initially because he spoke the best Russian and the team using the Apis Core printer was for Moscow. After seeing the potential of this technology and all of the efficiencies that it allows, Ali decided he would pursue more projects like this in the future. You're a civil engineer who worked on the biggest 3D printed building in the world, correct? Yes, actually I am from, I am working in engineering contracting company, ECC which I knew uh, since 47 years. And uh, I was project manager for the largest 3D printing in the world, two story, one building, and another story is uh, structural uh, walls, which is achieved by uh, Guinness World Records. As Ali mentioned, this project holds the Guinness World Record for the biggest 3D printed building in the world. Take a look at the printer they're using. At first glance, you may think, how could a printer that small build a building so large? The key is by having it complete walls in the section that it's in before moving it to its next segment. Many people think that printed construction will take away all the jobs, but there are still many tasks that require manual labor to complete, like pouring the floor, installing glass, and building the roof. Many have heard about Dubai's initiative to have 25% of every building constructed after 2030 to be made with 3D printed components. That means each building will require at least 25% of its volume to be constructed with automation. Yeah, I think the 3D printing uh, technology uh, will save more cost and uh, time, not only cost. And uh, you will get uh, one time uh, good finishing for your bill. As I mentioned, Apis Core is the company behind the technology. Years ago, they built this test model of a 3D printed house, and now they've moved on to the world's biggest 3D printed building. Although it was built in 2017, this project still holds the record at 9.5 meters tall and 10,000 square feet. There is a big debate in the 3D printed construction industry about whether it should be done on site or off site in a printing facility. Obviously, you can tell here they're printing on site. Many projects require a protective tent that will mitigate the effects of the elements. However, this project was able to achieve a nice finish without any tent or protective structure at all. Making a protective structure is a very costly endeavor, and although it can sometimes help with achieving layer regularity, that wasn't an issue here. Generally speaking, one person will operate the printer, one person will monitor the material flow, and the third person is an onlooker for safety purposes. Hopefully I'll be able to visit this building during my time in Dubai, However, because it's an active office space, I'll need to get permission from the company occupying it. Let's take a look at the interior. It's got a very modern and clean look to it, almost like the inside of an Apple store. Although interior design wasn't the focus of this project, I think they did a pretty good job. You can tell that these steps obviously weren't printed because there are no evidence of the lines most of the interior walls have been given a finish so that they look more visually appealing than just regular raw concrete. 
This project was done using Apis Core's first edition printer. Since then, they've made many improvements, including adding tracks to the bottom so that it's easier to move it from one print location to the next. I'll have some great content coming out soon about Apis Core and the terrific work they've been doing. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss an update on where this exciting industry is headed. Here's a look at what the walls looked like prior to finishing. How do you feel about this raw look? Would you prefer to leave it as is or hide the true 3D printed nature of the building? I personally appreciate the raw rough design, but with a little stucco, this rough design can be transformed into a building unrecognizable from its regularly constructed counterparts. So the project that was completed, the printer, there were one or two printers on the job site. We completed the project with the one uh, printers from maybe score. Uh, it was first printer for uh, for them. Uh, it's manufactured by uh, ABS Corp. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, when you start uh, anything new, uh, you should make a, a trial and error, trial and error. So we we learned from our errors and improved the the printers, improved the the the, the stuff, improved the design mix of the 3D printing material. So we uh, like take a lot of um, time to get the, the, the final result because 3D printing, material, uh, robotic, uh, everything, there is no experience, zero experience was. So experience coming only the last three years. But now I can say 100% uh, we have experience and we have uh, a dry mix uh, 3D printing mortars. We have a uh, AP score, uh, robotic, and we can save more and more time and cost and wastage material also. You know, in the other other building, you have a lot of wastage material. You want to shifting the material, uh, and uh, you want to uh, bring uh, the machinery for this wastage. But by 3D printing technology, there is like zero wastage. There is no wastage materials. To hear more from Ali Mustafa about this project and his role as project manager, make sure to check out my podcast episode with him at the link below. As I begin to prepare for my trip to Dubai, make sure to let me know if there's anything there specifically that you want me to cover.